Okay, the story that we're gonna read today is called Swim, Little Wombat Swim by Charles Fuge. Little Wombat was looking for apples. Hello, said a funny squeaky voice. Wombat spun around. Hello, I'm Wombat, who are you? I'm Platypus, said a funny fuzzy face. Then with a funny shuffly walk, Platypus waddled to the pond and disappeared. Platypus, little wombat giggled. Platypus. He tried to waddle too. He giggled and waddled, shuffled and chuckled nearer and nearer to the water's edge. Purr, splash, little wombat sink like a stone. In a flash, Platypus darted toward him. Before he knew it, Wombat was at the surface and safely out of the water. Thank you, Platypus, he sputtered. He wished he hadn't laughed at his new friend. How did you learn to swim like that? It's easy, Platypus smiled. I'll teach you. First, little Wombat had to hold onto the edge and kick his legs as hard as he could. Then he used a log as a float and he splashed all around the pond. He splashed and kicked until he was worn out. Time for lunch, said Platypus. Little Wombat munched on juicy red apples and Platypus munched on a handful of shrimps. Never swim on a full tummy, said Platypus. So they snoozed in the shade for an hour. That afternoon, Little Wombat learned to paddle like a dog and dive like a frog. Then, through all the splashing, Little Wombat heard his name being called. Rabbit and Koala had come to see what he had been doing all day. Little Wombat beamed. Platypus taught me to swim. Come on, Platypus, let's have a race. Wombat, Wombat. Koala and Rabbit cheered him on. No, not Wombat, little Wombat grinned at his new friend. Wombatipus. Okay, so if you want to go on and take your AR test, your number is 108492.